Hey friends, this method worked for me. I just restarted the computer after the whole process and it's working. How to fix automatic repair? Your computer or laptop was working normally and suddenly you're faced with this screen. So I will make this video in a simpler way on this screen. Maybe you click into restart, sometimes it works. So why that happened? Sometimes a file got corrupted in the system and you need to repair or reinstall that file. But some update also caused this automatic repair. If you already restarted and it didn't work, you need to come here to the device settings, okay? And here you're gonna have some options to try to solve your problem. If you click on continue, it will try to start the system and maybe and maybe it won't solve it for you. There is also the option to use a device, a USB drive with Windows, and then you'll be able to reinstall your Windows without deleting your files. But leave these options for the last. Now let's choose the option of troubleshooting. By clicking on it, two options will appear. First one, restore the computer, which allows you to choose between keeping or removing personal files and then reinstall the Windows. Clicking on this option, you have two choices. One keeps the files but uninstall the programs from the computer. It's like doing a reset but keeping your images, files and etc. The other programs like the Office, Word and Edit programs will be deleted, except of course those that come with the Windows. If you don't have a problem with that, you can use this option and the system itself will restore everything but keep your files. Or you can choose the Remove Everything option, which as the name suggests, we remove everything. So, so think carefully about the option we are going to choose. Both options will solve your problem. If I help you, please, if you want to contribute with the channel, I will leave the contribution methods in the description. And in the next video, I will also mention your name here. Those who cooperate with the channel will have the name there. And many people have been helping and that helped me a lot. All the options we have to restore are as follow. Remembering that this is not a maintenance channel, but basic computer information, so that you, who are not a technician, can also solve those problems without having to take them to a service. So let's go. The next way you have to solve is there here. Advanced options, startup repair, and this option will once again try to restore the system. You can try it because it won't delete anything. And unfortunately, this option mostly doesn't work, but it doesn't hurt to try. In this option, it will try to fix the error, and then you just have to wait. In my case, as I told you, it gave an error. So let's go back to the advanced settings. Another option that we have is this startup settings. It will change the startup behavior of the Windows and also try to skip this step of the corrupted file and try to start the Windows itself. The other way is this, by a code through the command prompt. Clicking on it, if you have a password, it will ask for the internet or the access of the computer or laptop itself. Then you're gonna type the password and click enter. In my case, it doesn't have, so it doesn't appear. When the problem test appears, the first thing you have to do is make sure you are in the right folder, on the right drive. You enter the C column, you only enter orders like A or D if the windows burnt on them. You do the shortcut, you're gonna write D E R D E R as you can see, the Windows folder is correct. Otherwise, you put the D and test to see if it is there. The next thing you're gonna have to type is C H K D S K slash F. 
and this shortcut here will check and in the same time you correct the possible errors on the system drive this code this code means check disk in abbreviation you're gonna click and you're gonna click enter and then you're gonna have the option in English with an Y or N and after clicking Y you wait and it won't take that long and the next command is B U U T R A C slash fix MBR and click enter all those codes will be in the description below when it says operations completed you do the last command bcd boot backslash windows backslash common letter s letter of the window and column the information boot files successfully created will appear and then you can type eject to eject turn off the computer and restart and if it worked leave in the comments if not let's continue the other option that we have is to uninstall updates it may be that one update may have caused this problem on windows and he gives the message if you are running into problems since installing the latest feature update uninstalling might fix them this won't affect your personal files but you lose any changes you've made up to apps and settings since your most recent update so it won't delete anything from your personal files let's let the windows work here friends this method worked for me i just restarted the computer after the whole process and it's working of all the methods this one worked for me if it didn't work for you i will leave you other videos for you to try to solve it if i helped you please if you can contribute with this channel i will leave in the description below the ways that you can help me and until the next video